welcome back to Marvel Live here at New York Comic Con 2016. I'm Ben Morris. With me is our awesome cosplay expert and producer, Judy Stevens. Hello, guys. Who have you brought along with you, Judy? So I'm, I brought you guys one of the cosplay cover variants from this year, Miss Ricky Rilakote. Hello. AKA Riddle. I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy that you put this on for me. <laughs> I did. We, we were watching her walk down the like the hallway, holding her tail, yeah. and because it, it attaches it's like via like a magnetic like part on the back. It's, it's like, like square stock. I just kind of like pop it on, but otherwise, when I don't have the tail on, I've just got this metal rod coming out of my butt. <laughs> 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 so people are like, "What is going on?" And they're like, "Oh, squirrel girl, yeah." Like, well, I was the, telling her when she was looking, she was taking a look out of the floor and I just turned around there was a tail in my face <laughs> and I'm just like I thought some animal was attacking me and I was like how did an animal get all the way up to our sky I mean the fact that like squirrel girl can shove it in her pants I was like yeah. I don't I can't even get this you should, have you ever tried to shove this in my pants yeah no <laughs> <laughs> I probably probably some people have tried to shove it in their pants out there but oh, that'd be a fun costume. the beauty of cosplay ladies yeah. and gentlemen yeah so, I mean, this costume is so amazing. It's actually uh, a unique design that you came up with to sort yeah, of rethink. Yeah, I was going to say, it didn't look exactly Yeah, like the so basically what happened was is, uh, so before, like, Squirrel Girl really blew up, I was like, oh, I love squirrels. I, I raise and rehab baby squirrels. Aww. I want to do a, my version of Squirrel Girl as if it existed in the sort of Marvel film universe. Hmm. So I went to artist Brian Stelfreeze, who oh, cool. does the art for Black Panther yeah. now, and I said, hey, you've got really good sense of costume design. I would, can you design this with me? So I showed him pictures of squirrels, nice. and we talked about it. And then, <laughs> and he just came up talked with like this. Squirrels. We talked about yep. squirrels. Yep. And he just came up with this sort of like really cool design, sort of based on what was because currently it was like Captain America was out and Iron Man was out and Thor was mm -hmm. out and that was it at the time. Nice. And then I I made it and I was like, damn it, Brian, all these crazy lines. <laughs> but no, it's so it's yeah, it's definitely my own take as if it existed in the MCU. How long did it take you to make? Uh, it was definitely uh, many many mock-ups okay. and probably over the course of like nine months because wow. I did it for a charity count. That's how long well. it takes to make a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? what? Just, I I weeped about as much yeah. as probably giving birth to a baby. Okay. I was like, <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> well, it looks good. Yeah. You should be very proud of your baby. It is. It's You've taken this into a very weird place. No. So I'm going to go there. No. That's where we live. Is, is this where we live? That's where we live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So I, I gave birth to this costume. Was, I'd see. Perfect metaphor. Yeah. It's very cool. Well, so if you guys are interested <laughs> in the cosplay cover, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl cosplay variant is actually on sale. Went on sale last week. Um, if you guys have an opportunity to swing by your local comic book store, pick it up. Um, hopefully there's still some copies yeah, left. Yeah, it's been like, every, people have been telling me it's sold out everywhere pretty much. I want to remind you guys, you can interact with us and with our guests by using the hashtag MarvelNYCC. We have one from Michael WS who says, hey Ricky, who is your favorite cause, favorite character to cosplay as, Marvel or otherwise? I have to say in the Marvel world, it's a toss up between Squirrel Girl and I love Black Cat. Oh, cool. So Black Cat was like, she's just... She's like a, a really fun version, more interesting than Catwoman, I think. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, like great that answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's not as emo, like I guess. I'm probably gonna get unliked yeah. immediately. Do you have some Marvel costumes that you are like looking to make or dream costumes? Oh my gosh, uh, I did female Loki way oh. many years ago when uh, Olivia Coppel did. Yeah. And before you know, female before Hiddleston came out, yep. and I re I did it, and I really just want to revisit it and like ramp it up because yeah. now I know a lot more things. Um, I don't know, Squirrel Girl was kind of like it. There's some great Scarlet Witch designs. Mm. I mean, I just love the designs of the Marvel universe. Yeah. There's just they're always interesting. They're always changing. They're just really dynamic. So yeah. Sophia wants to know what was the hardest part to make of the Squirrel Girl costume. Uh, probably the tail. I knew it was the tail. It, it was like the engineering of getting it to stay on my body and keeping it light. And it kind of, I can like booty tooch kind of, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but when I walk, it actually like kind of bounces. That's and so cool. it looks, it's, and I didn't want it like strapped to my back. So I had to create a very low profile harness system to kind of mm -hmm. hold it all in and then armature. And yeah. What else could you use your design abilities for? Like, could you create weapons? Like, like my squirrel girl abilities? Yeah. No, um, no, your design <laughs> abilities. Like, obviously, you've created this incredible creation. Like, you know, imagine if you turned your your powers for evil or something like that. <laughs> What's weird is, so I can make all of this, but I still have troubles parallel parking. Like, yeah. like the most <laughs> basic functions. I'm like, how do I, how do I put food in my mouth? Like, I can't. But I was like, oh, I'll do this crazy design. So. I don't know. I don't even like altering my own clothing. So, really? Yeah, I hate it. Well, that's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> it's what's one you know thing what to else make a is costume. A lot of work, Judy, making a tail. Making a 
So you know, I feel like making a costume is one thing. When I have to like fix up my leggings because they ripped, I look at them for like six months before I yeah, do it. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I paid for these. I don't want to fix them. Yeah. So what about the cosplay cover? How did uh, did you shoot it? Mm-hmm. But so both of you, what was the process of creating this cosplay cover? Well, actually, um, I originally Squirrel Girl wasn't on the li- original list oh. that Delando sent me, um, and I was like, That's we were Chris Delando. Chris Delando, sorry. Marketing. They're on um, a last name basis. Yeah. We are, <laughs> you know. They do not like each other. <laughs> <laughs> so we were going to shoot most of them at San Diego Comic Con, <laughs> and I was thinking of cosplayers that were going to be there, and I was like, Squirrel Girl's not on this list, but Squirrel Girl has a book. Yeah, we love Can I have a Squirrel Girl? Can we do? And they were like, yes, ding, 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 oh, ding, ding. I was so happy when she's like, do you want to be Squirrel Girl? I'm like, yeah, I want to be Squirrel Girl. Mm. Yeah. And we like shot it on the steps, like outside <laughs> of the convention center on Wednesday afternoon. Um, it was, and yeah, it was so hot. It was, it was really hot. And yeah. I had to like have someone like groom my tail. That's the most difficult thing. Like, I just, I know why animals are always grooming themselves now because this oh, thing gets so ratty. If I don't groom it, <laughs> and since I can't move it around me, I'm like trying to like comb it like oh, this. Yeah, it's like you sitting with the squirrels, you're all grooming yourself. Yeah, I do. When they're little babies, they will groom you. But they didn't. Uh, when I, I took a picture with one of my rescue squirrels, mm-hmm. he w- I think he had tail envy because yeah. mine was bigger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He knows he'll never be that big. Yeah. <laughs> well, you actually had something really exciting happen but this week. Was uh, you came out with a pattern with simplicity? I did. I'm really excited. So a few, uh, almost like a year and a half ago, I developed a pattern. There's this, a pattern company called Simplicity, and they asked me like, "What do you think the cost uh, pattern? Because there's so many interesting fabrics that are non-stretch, but it's hard to like incorporate them into like there's a zillion non-stretches in this." suit so the actually uh today i'm debuting it at the booth so oh, i'm super excited cool. to be able to do that and see what awesome stuff people can make out of it more squirrel girl outfits hopefully. more squirrel girls i agree i need an army we need an army of squirrel girls we should do that definitely you need a squirrel girl outfit i would love to have a squirrel you girl want tail? I would, do you want to try my tail on can you can i just try yeah, it on? yeah yeah just hold it against oh. your back so just pull it out <laughs> make it there we go there we go now turn around okay this is this is this is my first cosplay, everyone. Yay! Yay! My first cosplay is just as a squirrel, basically. <laughs> I don't have a costume of any sort. Well, there you Thank go. you that very much. Tail. That was cool. That's a good tail. Nice. Nice um, Jason Latour. <laughs> Come on, man. Your wife's watching this. <laughs> Everybody gets a tail. That'll be the next exclusive. You, you it would be, be great if you just had like an army of people walking behind you and just had tails, yeah. and they're your squirrels. And like they're all grooming each other. It's like a groom train. Yeah, a groom train. <laughs> this is sounding very much like a furry party right now. Uh, yeah, well. I'm by furious. <laughs> <laughs> so where can people find you online if they want to learn more? People about can find me online. You can, I'm on Facebook. I'm under uh, Riddle and on. Yeah, we have some of your fans right now. Oh here, my goodness! Sandy I told Sandy them. I was like, check out Marvel Live. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then on Twitter and Instagram, I'm R I D D one E. So I post a lot of squirrel stuff, but food, comics, video games, I love it all. That's awesome. So thank you guys so much for having me. Thank it's you been, so much yeah. for coming on. Uh, we're going to be following this up with Sp- Paul and Storm, uh, as well as Jonathan Colton. I spoke to those guys a little while ago. What's up, Blake? 